In the wake of conservatives calling for the dismantling of the Federal Bureau of Investigations, a heavily armed gunman tried to breach an FBI office on Thursday. The man reportedly has ties to the January 6th insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. With the right's repeated attacks on the FBI for searching President Donald Trump's home on Monday, it was only a matter of time before one of the minions saw it as a call to action. A heavily armed gunman wearing body armor tried to breach the FBI's field office in Cincinnati, Ohio, on Thursday. The suspect, who is now dead, has been identified as 42-year-old Ricky Walter Schiffer of Columbus, Ohio. He was shot and killed by agents following a lengthy standoff, and this came after he tried to breach the FBI building before running into a cornfield. Investigators are currently looking into whether Schiffer has ties to domestic terror groups that participated in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. This per the New York Times. Investigators are currently looking into whether Schiffer has ties to domestic terrorist groups that participated in the January 6th insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. Per the New York Times. The suspect identified by the officials as Ricky Schiffer, 42, seems to have appeared in a video posted on Facebook on January 5th, 2021, showing him attending a pro-Trump rally at Black Lives Matter Plaza in Washington the night before the Capitol was stormed. Also, a Twitter user named Ricky Schiffer has posted a number of far-right messages, including the following. All happen to be from May 7th. Are you really playing that card? Condemn Antifa and BLM if you mean it. In response to a post about the pandemic, he tweeted, Under no circumstances comply. We didn't get this country through peaceful compliance or peaceful protests. This Twitter account also posted this disturbing message. Shut up about term limits. Your vote doesn't even count anymore. We need to be ready for the war against the communists who chemically neuter pubescent children and call it gender transitioning, not bellyache about the arguments of 30 years ago. Save ammunition. Also, the account responded with this message, which indicated that he indeed heeds Trump's words. I was there. We watched as your goons did that. When I told the ones trying to break back in that Trump tweeted be peaceful, one of them said, F Trump. And just two days ago, an account named Ricky Schiffer on True Social posted this. I hope a call to arms comes from someone better qualified, but if not, this is your call to arms from me. Leave work tomorrow as soon as the gun shop, Army Navy store, pawn shop opens. Get whatever you need to be ready for combat. We must not tolerate this one. They have been conditioning us to accept tyranny and think we can't do anything for two years. This time we must respond with force. If you know of any protests or attacks, please post here. When asked whether he was proposing terrorism, he responded, very important question. No, I am proposing war. Be ready to kill the enemy. Not mass shootings where leftists go. Not lighting buses on fire with transsexuals in them. Not finding people with leftist signs in their yards and beating them up. Violence is not all terrorism. Kill the FBI on sight and be ready to take down other active enemies of the people and those who try to prevent you from doing it. While the information on Schiffer continues to come in, it seems somewhat safe to say that this attack on the FBI is likely a direct product of the right's attack on the agency, all because it executed a search warrant on Mar-a-Lago. The right have been aggressive in communicating condemnation for the FBI over the last few days. Not only has this rhetoric been dangerous, but it is entirely unwarranted. As Attorney General Merrick Garland explained on Thursday, the feds followed the law and did their job. The lone individual who seems to have done neither is Donald Trump. Yet it appears he's still able to rile up his base to wage attacks on our government all while claiming to bleed blue and back law enforcement. The hypocrisy is not only dangerous to our democracy, but also to the safety of law enforcement. Interestingly enough, the right's attacks on the feds comes just weeks after we learned that the Secret Service deleted 1-6 text messages, and the FBI didn't do a background check on Brett Kavanaugh as it said it would. Knowing that so many members of law enforcement lean right, do you think that this coordinated campaign of attacks may have many of them rethinking their party affiliation and support? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.